Hello, my name is Elisabeth Broekaert. Um, I live in Antwerp. Antwerp is a city in Belgium. And Belgium is a small country where you might have passed through. Uh, I studied in Newport ages ago. At least it feels like it. Um, I think uh, 1990. I was only there for one year because I had been studying photography before in an art academy in Ghent. So I was capable of uh, making very beautiful black and white single images. But I was frustrated that I couldn't make a story. When I arrived in Newport, I was very motivated and prepared to work very hard. Um, and I focused, my first story focused on the transporter bridge in Newport. I had set my own goals next to uh, making a story. I wanted to work in color and slides and I wanted to learn how to use my flash. So every week I turned up with my list of questions and I remember Daniel to be very amused. Oh, there's Elizabeth again. Show me the list. Show me the list. My two other stories were uh, created out of fascination and, and my curiosity of um, British eccentrics. So one story was on royal fanatics and another story was on uh, British cowboys but for me the most important story was also the most intense story it was a story I made of the mother and baby unit in a prison Ascombe Grange in York because everything in that story came together it was very difficult to get in to get permission to get in it was very difficult to gain confidence of the women themselves. Um, I had to get grip of the technical aspects. And most of all, I learned how to deal with the frustrations. Because nothing turned out to be as I had imagined. And so I got very frustrated and David learn me how to deal with those frustrations and to see uh, the opportunities uh, through it. So I, I kept going. I, it turned out to be a completely different story, but it was so valuable and it was a lesson for life, really. I still consider David as my picture dad. And till today, when I have my doubts again, I feel his encouragement and it works it keeps me going on I make the work that I want to make and I remember when my first book got published I sent a copy to Daniel and to David um, to show them thanks to them they can be proud of me so Clive Daniel David thank you very much <laughs>